Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you with a, the financing and how to invest and what things that I've seen in Earth 2. Uh, this isn't exactly any updates with the game. It's just something that I have noticed uh, the, how it mirrors real life and really why this has become so popular the way it is, not just with gamers, but for financial people in general. Uh, before we start, just want to remind you that anyone that uses my code gets 5% uh, off and eventually I will start cycling. I have started already cycling through everyone that wants to uh, uh, Everyone's codes. I will obviously do patreon members first um, But all of this work that I do I do for free if you say hey I don't know you mr. Real Randy Chavez I want to use my brothers or my friends or my girlfriend's code because this way my 5% goes to another person that I know That's a hundred percent. Okay. Just plug in patreon down below um, Anyway, here we go gonna drop the drop right into the video what I have noticed why this has become so popular, and like I said, not just with gamers, but with financial personnel as well, is because uh, me, my, my friend Steve that got into me, we both have financial backgrounds. He's got like a almost a damn near perfect credit score of almost 850. Uh, he's made videos on how to turn credit cards and how to do stuff like that. Me, myself, my credit score is okay. It's like 750-ish, but where my financial background is, is in risk and data analysis. A lot of it has been uh, starting multiple businesses, whether it's high risk lending, which is my first one, and my second one, which is in Pokemon cards. Uh, and this one's not really a business, but uh, really just stocks and how to read them. And I've done really well, increased uh, over 100% this year in my money, mostly in Tesla stock. But why does that have anything to do with this game right here? Well, when we see something, again, it just started off as a game of, hey, buy tiles where you think it's cool, buy land. But what I've been noticing is that people, if people just buy land and they hold it and they don't buy more land, they're going to see the biggest gains, um, why they see, you know, several thousand percent gains, which is really interesting because a lot of people in the financial arena, in the real world, a lot of them see anywhere from nine to 11% gains in the stock market each year. That's average. And a lot, and sometimes, um, you know, it can go 20%. Sometimes if we have a down year, it can go down a certain amount too. So you actually lose money throughout the year. So when you're doing well, if you have around 10% gains every year and you reinvest those gains into the market called compound interest, and typically as far as beating the market consistently up until this past couple of years, only very few people have done that. And maybe 20 people in the world can beat the market consistently over a long amount of time and those people all happen to work for Warren Buffett that he just scooped them up be like nope you're gonna work for me now um, it's a little different now value investing is kind of going out the window what he what Warren Buffett specialized in now it's really about, all about investing in uh, innovative products but how that why all that translates to here into earth too is because people have been seeing 100 200 thousand percent gains in a week's time, which is absolutely unheard of. So when people like me or my friend Steve see this, we're just like, oh my God, we have to get in this. Like, And again, it would definitely behoove us to not tell anyone else about it, to not make YouTube videos about it. But because, again, we're all nerds at heart, I'm wearing a Patrick meme, Patrick Star meme shirt, <laughs> our Lord and Savior. Um, I just want other people to find out about it. One, because it's a fun game. I believe it's going to be part of the future. Um, but two, I... If you guys are friends, I want everyone to make money as well. And this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing. I'm putting a lot of my extra capital into this because it obviously increases a stellar, stellar amount. And this type of thing, if you're doing a 100% gain in a week, bet the freaking house. And again, this is something where we're still not 100% sure in the long term if this game is going to be successful, you've had many people complain about the people that have obviously never played Bethesda games on the uh, opening day, on launch day, that say like, okay, you know, this isn't going through, the site's crashing, I'm done with it, and okay, like press F in the chat for those unrealized gains for those people that are not going to be able to, um, that are not going to be able to invest in this game uh, and play it and enjoy it with us and all those realized gains, because as soon as we see anything over 20% inside of six months, it is just like an alarm in our head goes off. What is different about this? A lot of what's different about this is just so many people putting money in. And again, right now, the most amount 
that somebody has in this game right now was that big user user nudge i believe his name was with what was it uh 70 no twenty five thousand dollars which again in the grand scheme of things is nothing if he did that rule he only has let's say five hundred thousand dollars or four hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars of net worth so if there are millionaires in this game they're not using that five percent rule they're going very very small but again this is something where even if you have someone worth seven or eight figures putting money in there that's still nothing. There are billionaires out there. There is Middle Eastern royalty that once they find out what this game is, they are going to go hard. Clash of Clans, um, that war game where you can have might. There's several tens of thousands of people that have eight or nine figures lined up that are just ready to go. They're looking for the next thing because they're bored. Um, outside of that, something else that mirrors this would be trophy hunting. And I don't mean trophy hunting in games. I mean that right now, because of the pandemic outside in the real world, there's a lot of people that are hunters. They hunt, uh, hunters in general hunt deer, they hunt, you know, whatever, people fish. But people like hunting like giant giraffes or lions or bears, something that I would never do because I am a, um, well, uh, again, for those of you that don't know, I was a veterinary assistant for nine years before I joined the military. So I love animals. I thoroughly enjoy them, never hurt them. Um, but that being said, uh, a lot of trophy hunters, they pay for the preservation of other animals. They pay uh, the parks to be able to hunt. What they do is they hunt either sick or dying animals, and then they just, that's what they do. The proceeds of that goes to maintaining the park. And... Again, since the pandemic, they haven't been able to do that. I pride myself on donating $10,000 last year to, like, Best Friends Animal Society, Animal Welfare Institute, uh, the Steve Irwin uh, charity over in Australia. Uh, but there are trophy hunters out there that will uh, pay that or double or 5x, like $50,000, for one hunting trip. That's just what they do. Um, and if, we, if you can do that inside the game, that is something that's going to be able to just... <sighs> Again, if trophy hunters can't do it in real life, they'll do it virtually because that's just an itch. It's the same itch that people get when they go to concerts and they just mosh, and people would pay an arm and a leg to do that. I have friends, again, I live in New York, where they would drive to Connecticut in order just to go to a restaurant because that's how much they missed it. A lot of it was their girlfriends also. Um, outside of that, we do have something that I wanted to mention as far as tiles. I'll put... Uh, thing in the description saying uh, 755 tax tiles and all that uh, for those of you that don't know I'll do it because I do get a I do get this question every day despite making videos about it so it's going to be the taxes on this for the tiles it was 0.003% but I did have someone just before say that they had $50 in here and they got 28 cents in tax revenue and that is you're getting 0.0056% back in taxes as opposed to 0 0.003. That could be an update. That could be something because maybe those tiles are just in America. I'm not sure. But that's something where if you have class one tiles, you will get the most tax revenue from that. Class two, you will still get tax revenue, just a little less than class one. Class three is the same as class two. It's just you'll get less in class three than class two. And class four, you're just not going to get any tax revenue. But that doesn't mean later in the game when they do uh, more updates that we'll still be able to build on all the land on class four that you have, whether it's uh, ocean, whether it's mountain, whatever. Again, you'll be able to terraform the land to make it what you want. Uh, you just won't get any tax revenue. Tax revenue might be different than ad revenue when they have a lot of people, a lot of foot traffic, and there's a billboard for, let's say, Best Buy or Bass Pro Shops or Muscle Melf or... Dayquil, which has been helping me throughout this day. Uh, again, plug in the Patreon down below. I don't work for Dayquil or Muscle Milk or whatever. Again, I do all this for free. But this is something where I just wanted to uh, create, saying that we don't know the exact percentages. Clearly, they're still working the table with it. And again, this is a very, very soft launch that only happened a month ago. We're still waiting for some announcements later on this week. We're, uh, I'm sorry, later on this year. It was only about a week and a half left. And then some more updates about the rollout of Phase 2 within the first two weeks of January. So that's it on the tiles. Again, this is something I just wanted to update you guys on is financing 
in the real world that mirrors this and that's why people are going again this is not financial advice but it seems that right now if you put in a thousand dollars into anywhere it should double maybe not america because america's went from 10 cents a tile to seven dollars and 40 cents a tile uh in a <laughs> very short amount of time but anywhere else it should double in a week that's just the pattern that i've been seeing and yeah by, uh, by all means uh if you do that and then uh, again you might have to pay some actual uh short-term capital gains on the outside you might not because it's it's such a small amount. Let's say if it's a thousand, two thousand dollars, whatever. If it's something like twenty or thirty thousand dollars, that's something that PayPal might be like, "Hey, here's a ten ninety nine. You have to pay taxes on it." At that point, just open up an LLC. That's what I'm gonna do uh, early next year because all of the money that I'm putting in, I'm not taking out. I'm leaving in there. Warren Buffett said, and again, I know I just used that as an example as like an old value investor, which he is. But one of the best things I learned from him is that the transfer of wealth in the stock market doesn't go from the dumbest to the smartest. It doesn't go from the uneducated to the educated. It goes from the impatient to the patient. I say the same thing to my friends, or to my subscribers, all my viewers in the Pokemon chat, in my Pokemon channel, my Pokemon views. If you have something that is really valuable, hold on to it. Charizard, Lugia, anything first edition, PSA 10, Watsi Hollow. Same thing with this. Again, this could all go up in flames, I don't know, but the general rule is if you decide that something is worth a lot of money, save it. Because the transfer of wealth will go from the inpatient, the constant flipping, to the patient. E-Trade just did, uh, wrote an article a couple of days ago saying that the best accounts that they have in there, the ones that saw the highest growth, were people who are dead. And because they just... When they're dead, they can't buy and sell and trade their accounts. They just have it in there and it grows. And that just goes to show that if you buy something and don't touch it, you don't sell it, it'll grow faster than other people trying to trade and trying to beat the market. Because again, it's very, very hard to do that. Buying and holding in general is the best uh, advice, at least for the stock market, at least for Pokemon, for what I've seen. This, we're not 100% sure yet, but it seems to follow all the rest of the rules that everything else has so far. And again, this is just the beginning. So... I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. I am not um, touching anything. I'm consistently buying, not selling. Because, uh, again, I'm also comfortable with losing what I put in there right now. I mean, for those of you, that if you don't have a lot of money or if you only have maybe an extra $100, definitely don't put the $100 in there, especially if you're going to need it. If you want to just buy a couple of tiles somewhere, like, oh, yeah, I, I put, like, you know, $5 worth in there. Okay, 5% of what you have, good. You're not going to need it. Just let it grow. And who knows? who knows where it goes? This could be huge. It it could go to the moon. It could go to zero. I don't know what it's going to do in the short term, but I feel, again, just going on my heart, my gut, my instinct, that this is going to be big. I was right about it with the high-risk lending, with Pokemon cards, with Tesla. I might, I may or may not be right about this. I don't know. I passed on Bitcoin when it was $500 per Bitcoin. Now it's like $20,000 per Bitcoin. So I passed on other things before. I don't want to pass up on this, especially when I've had a hot streak these past few years on investing. So again, that's just what I'm doing. I love you all. Class of this. I will I will join you later for an update tonight. Again, referral code down below, uh, Patreon as well. An update later tonight for the actual game and other things and patterns that I've seen. I love you all. Bye.